Hello and welcome to a figure review of a figure I found whilst out shopping a few days ago. Um, I found it in a shop called Freaks, Geeks and Autographs in Swansea. So if you know of that place, I highly suggest going there if you're into figures and autographs and such. Um, okay, so basically this, this isn't boxed or anything, this is just something I saw in the window of the shop, uh, which took my fancy, I bought it. And I'll just do a really quick review. Um, this should be a lot quicker than my other ones, which usually run like 15, 20 minutes. Should only be like five. So anyway, um, some of you may be familiar with this guy. Uh, his name is Slamfist, and he's from the movie Small Soldiers. Now, some of you may remember this. Others may be thinking, what the fuck is he on about? Um, basically, the very brief premise of the film was a toy company had released some toys um, with like advanced chips in them and um, basically a very small store that was going out to business had a ship shipment of them and within that shipment a few of them started coming to life. Um, I think if my mind serves me right uh, correctly that basically um, you know they sort of all across the country basically these chips led to the you know toys rising up and attacking people. Now there were two sides. There were the army people, um, none of which I have obviously, Then there's the Gorgonites, which are basically sort of alien monsters or whatever, and he is one of these today. So in the film this guy, well, he's a character but he doesn't play a very key role, he's just one of the Gorgonites to show how like diverse they are. Um, so yeah, going straight ahead, I, I was very pleased to see this because the film revolves around figures so I thought it was obviously going to happen that they release some figures and they did, uh, thankfully, and so basically uh, I'm just going to take a quick look at this guy talk about a few features I like, um, give it a little rating I guess um, so right, Slamfist um, as far as articulation goes, it's not great. You can move his head, uh, worryingly almost all the way around. He doesn't seem to have a neck at all. Um, but you know, I think he's meant to be like the Frankenstein kind of thing. Big hand there, which you can rotate around, uh, whichever way. And then there's his other fit, um, hand, which... Probably the reason for his name, Slam Fist, because he has a big rock attached to it. The rock is rotatable, um, which is cool, you know. Um, his legs are not, and maybe it's because I bought this second hand, but his feet are a bit wonky. It's kind of weird, you can easily, but you know, sort of, he actually holds his weight and such. Um, but yeah, his arms are movable, and that's about it. Now, one detailing I did quite like about this figure was, if you look there, there are joints, right? As in, you know, articulation joints you get in every figure. Um, see them on his knees as well. Okay, so there I was, spending about two or three minutes, um, a day or two ago, trying, basically, to move his arm so it can be pulled up. I realised that these are actually just features, so this is a bizarre kind of toy that has... It has the joints, but the joints don't move. They're there to look like a figure. So it's a figure that's meant to look like other figures, which is kind of weird. Um, as for his whole build, it's pretty detailed. I mean, if I tip it up, he has got eyes. Uh, although, due to my lighting, it kind of looks like he's really, really pissed off. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, the detailing is good. His skin has this speckled thing all over... Um, his body has strap and stuff. A fair amount of holes in the back. I think that's to like save some plastic cost or whatever. Um, yeah, you know, he's a generally awesome figure and just sort of... It kind of makes me want to collect the other small soldiers figures because as a kid growing up that film was like... It, it impacted on my life, you know, fairly well as I, I think it came out when I was like nine or something so... I watched it quite a few times and loved it and I don't know, it didn't get a very good critical reception, but I loved it. Anyway, um 
so yeah, that's about it. I just really wanted to show you um, what he was like. Oh, also he has one action, uh, which is hard to do with one hand. Basically, he rotates. Um, either way, um, I do it more, but I have nothing to hold the camera with and can't do it with two hands. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, Hopefully a proper big review may come up soon of something. I have a few things planned over there. Don't know if you can read any of it. Hopefully not, because I'll give away my plans. So, until next time, thanks for watching.